I am at the glorious Hopwood services, uh, which I'm very grateful for. On my way to Rockfield Studios in Monmouthshire, and I'm feeling a mixture of excitement and apprehensiveness, a bit like walking up a red carpet towards a pretend scaffold. And so here I am, just arriving at Rockfield Studios. Wonder what it's going to be like. very splendid facilities at Rockfield. This is the room that I'm in. And here's the living room of room four in the series of chalets that are along one side of the quadrangle. And I'm very pleased to see a little kitchen so that I can make myself ample cups of tea. Better get out now to the recording room to help Nigel load in his drums. Forget respect If, if you can play, if you can play a lot of Beatles chords, um, songs all the way through on acoustic guitar, Rick, then you must know loads of chords. <laughs> <laughs> all right, mate. And nearly all this. How do you? Morning. Joe. Hi, Joe. Good to meet you. See? Yeah. Good to meet you. Are you all right? Yeah, good. Yeah. It's really cool. Well, we used to have the big knee VRs, and I mean, it basically was the entire length of that unit there. And it cost a fortune to run with the electricity, and it ran at such a high temperature that you had to have full on AC at the same time. <laughs> the knees. So, yeah, yeah. It just yeah. would otherwise we just you know melt. So, um, but we so we still got the although we got rid of those 50, twenty years ago now. Um, you know, still, <clears> but as I say, we don't change what we we don't you know if it ain't broken we don't fix it. Yes, yes. But then this one here, this is Doris, and she um, has been here since nineteen seventy four. So all of the stuff that was recorded in here between 74 and about 87, 88 was recorded on that oh, tape machine. And she's called Doris because we used to have two, one in either studio. And our maintenance engineer then, Otto, was, if ever anybody put in the fault book, you know, the A80, he was like, well, which A80? So we called one Doris and one Mavis. <laughs> so it was like, well, Doris has got such and such a song. But... Bohemian Rhapsody? Yes. Wow. Yes. That's a killer queen piano as well, isn't it? Yes, probably, yes, I, think, I guess it would be, I guess it would be, yeah. Yeah, because I think he bought the white piano down mm. just for the night of the opera, but that was in here then, so so I guess it would be. I don't know, I was six. <laughs> How did how did um, Kingsley and Charles like get the idea of buying this really really first rate equipment as they went along? Well, they just yeah. wanted to do the best they could. Yeah. It just evolved. There was no great plan. They didn't sit down with a business plan thinking we're going to have this great studio. Yeah. They were you know they were farmers and but they happened to be in a band and they used to work. They used to go. They used to milk all the cows and feed all the, the pigs and yeah. do all of the farming duties and then go up to London to record because they recorded with Joe Meek. Yeah. So they were one of Joe's bands, Joe Meek's oh. bands. 
Um, and it was because his studio, he turned everything on its head because his studio was in his flat. Yeah. As opposed to like Abbey Road and Decker and Yeah, Pine, yeah, yeah. Really the first studios. home studio. Yeah. So yeah. They, my grandmother, who was just one of the most amazing women, and she, she was sort of, well, can't you get the equipment for yourselves, you know, and just do it down here, dears. <laughs> and so they started off in the attics of the house and then they moved to the potato loft and then they moved yeah. down to the coach house in 68. And then we converted here in 70. This but desk did... is brilliant. This MCI. As I say, we bought this about 20 years ago and we've never looked back. And a lot of people, they don't necessarily know the MCI, but the reason why my dad bought it was because the producer, Gus Dudgeon, had an yep. MCI, and we knew Gus very well. And, of course, he's, he was a you know, huge Elton John and loads of other people he worked with. So Kingsley was like, well, if you're good enough for Gus, it'll yep. be good enough for us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, so that's why we, we bought the MCI, and we have not looked back. Everybody loves this desk. One of the great... I've also got a the only way I can't use it is to take the machine because I've got all this, so I use it later. It's quite lucky where I live because that moment. Joe, when do you reckon you're going to need to do my to wander around for a bit? Yeah, yeah. Good. Rick always manages to get himself. And if it all goes sure. wrong, it's Rick's fault. Oh, yeah. yeah. The rest of them were just uh, basically for in that folder for other members of the band who needed bits of work. going brilliantly yeah you've been great lunch. you've done well, some thank fantastic you, Steve. stuff yeah well yeah. i think yeah. i've risen to the occasion hopefully <laughs> so um no but being here and this this thing oh it's just uh, incredible yeah yeah and to be part of it and and actually to um have played some good drums yeah and, and, and uh great drums yeah I f I f i'm in I'm, I'm in heaven yeah okay Forget respect, just build a reservation. Give it a century, they'll see democracy's cool. Down in Dakota, 
to try and guard the borders to keep the plague away the white men still room Jesus is my Absolutely brilliant time at Rockfield. What an experience it's been. The facilities here are superb. Uh, the studio is the best I've ever been in. The engineer was helpful, efficient, skillful, and my fellow musicians performed absolutely up to their best. I think that's probably what's special about this place, that it brings the best out of the people that come here. Jesus is my vaccine. Jesus wins. What is truth? He said and dried his hands. Nothing good or that money can make better 